Hey fam, my name is Michael and this is The Planet Eye. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. In today's episode, we have plant mail three ways. The first is going to be from you guys, actually. One, uh, a couple of you guys decided to share some of your clip seedlings and some of your clippings with me. So we're going to be unboxing those. The second is going to be an unboxing of some seedlings from the Green Escape. And, and lastly, we have an unboxing from Tropicals Plants, which is going to be pretty amazing. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you like this video, smash that like button. All right, fam. So let's make it do what it do. Hey fam, so we have some really cool plant mail today. This first one is, is from Rain. Her channel is called Planting with Rain. Uh, and she also, same thing for Instagram. Uh, she we were actually talking, she had actually received a, a little plant haul. So she asked, her, and she asked me if I wanted some cuddlings and I said, absolutely. So she sent some to me. So these are gonna be, uh, I know what one of them is, but I can't, I can't pronounce the name. I think it's, uh, I'll put it down here. It's a, it's a plant from South Africa. Uh, it kind of has a cottage type of thing going on, a bulbous piece. So she sent me a cutting as well as a couple of, uh, as well as a couple of um, uh, bulbs. So what I, the plan is going to be to obviously uh, root out the cutting and then plant, use like uh, plant the bulbs in like either like a, a stratum or uh, or like a sphagnum moss. I may do a com experiment, do a combination of both to see which one actually does better or which was better. So she did a great job, Patty. So that is, thank you, thank you, Rain, for sending this to me. I'm, I'm really excited about it. We had a couple of issues. There was a little delay in the mail. You know how USPS can be sometimes, uh, but you gotta love them because they do deliver. They'll get things. So I know a couple of you that asked me about uh, wanting to send me some cup cuttings. I do have my uh, do have my mailbox set up now, so just reach back out to me and let me know if you're still interested in sending me something. Okay, so this first one is a pothos. She told me what it was going to be, but you know, I forgot. Uh, this one is the, why is, why is my mind blanking right now? I guess because I just came from more in the yard. Um, but it's a pothos and it's a uh, pretty standard. It's a, why am I having a problem thinking what it is? Ah, it's, it's frustrating. I, I, I have a down there, but yeah, so this looks nice. So I'm going to go ahead and I was put in some water allow it to, to uh, saturate. She did a great, real great job of, of wrapping it up and, uh, and putting it in some damp sphagnum also. This is awesome. Again, thank you, Rain. I appreciate this. This, is, this definitely adds to my collection. Uh, this next one is, okay, so those are probably the bulbs. So let's open this one up. It probably won't come to me as soon as I finish. <laughs> And it's recording. We're like, oh yeah, that's what it's called. So you, uh, you guys know what it is. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty uh, straightforward. Oh, okay, good. So they ran it. Actually, they they made it, but not with no damage. So that's awesome. Uh, this one is uh, something vio, viola violia, something like that. But again, it is a South African plant uh, from. The arid region, uh, there's a region, but it, it basically blooms in the rainforest during the rainy season or something like that. Uh, really nice plant. I'll put up a, I'll put, I'll put up a, a picture of what it looks like in full form. Uh, well, up top. So you'll see. It. This is beautiful. Thank you. This is awesome. I am so excited to see how this, how this grows. All right. So, all right. So this is, and then she also sent me some before before I before I end this section session, yeah, this segment. Um, she also sent me some bulbs of it's the bulbs of this one. So, yeah, 
I'm going to be, uh, have some nice little experiments to run and be busy this spring. Thank you again. All right. So this, we got the something spirilla, spirilla, viola, viola, something like that. And I'll, I'll put the name down. And then it's Pop Brazil. I think that's what it is. This is the Brazil. And so she got me, she got, sent me these. So again, thank you so much, Rain. Uh, if you guys haven't, don't follow her already. Uh, definitely check out her channel. She actually has a, a, a video of where she unboxes a, 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 a whole bunch of uh, plants that she got recently. So yeah, check her out. She's uh, she's good people. All right, so on to the next one. All right, guys. So the next unboxing is going to be a, another one from you guys, and this is going to be from uh, this is actually from Matt. He has an IG account. His, I believe it's Aquaman 461. I'll definitely put it down here because he has some amazing plants, amazing plants. So we were talking and he had some seedlings and he was like, and I was like, wow, that plant looks beautiful. And he was like, you want some of my seedlings? So I was like, yeah, sure, definitely. Um, so he sent me some, we had a little hiccup the first time. So we actually wound up having to send it twice. So my, yeah, there was a little mix up with where my, uh, with where I received my mail. Anyway, uh, so here we have it. This is, it is an anthurium. It's a bird nest anthurium. I actually don't know what the, uh, I need to ask him what the variety is. I got to ask him about that. But this one, oh, this is this way, okay. This one is, I'll put the picture up so you guys can see what it looks like when it's mature. But this looks very, very healthy. Matt, I am excited. Thank you so much for sharing this with me, buddy. Okay. So it looks like it's, I'm going to definitely need to uh, put them up in some other pots. Um, you know, I think that he sent me about three or four of them. Looks like I could probably do about three, yeah, about two or three. So again, this is a bird's nest anthurium. Uh, and if you guys, when I show you the picture, if you guys know what the variety is, please, you know, put it in the comments. But it's, it was amazing. It's amazing. It looks great. And Matt, I want to thank you so, so much for uh, sharing, uh, sharing, uh, sharing a part of your collection with me. So yeah, this is the, uh, this is a bird nest in Ethereum from you guys, from, uh, from Matt, Matt specifically. Again, definitely check him out on Instagram. It's Aquaman461. And he has some amazing, very mature plants. It's, it's like walking through a botanical. I mean, visually walking through a botanical. All right. So, Let's get on to the next one. All right, so this last one is, well, this next one is from the Green Escape. I've ordered from them before. They are a, uh, they are Etsy seller. Mostly, most, a lot of it, a lot of times, mostly seedlings. I've never really had too many issues with them. Um, you know, maybe like once, once or twice, but typically it's, I've had, it's been smooth sailing in terms of, uh, in terms of the plants coming in nice, healthy, and, and, uh, and alive, which, you know, when we order about milk, sometimes that's something that we all kind of are hesitant about, but they, they definitely do a great job of that. So I got four, because they have a, a buy three, get four, get one, uh, get $15 off type thing. So, hey, why not? This one is the, I got a couple of, uh, and actually I got a couple of, uh, got a, a I got some philodendrons. Yeah, that's right. I got some philodendrons and I also got some Hoyas. Cause I got the thing I told you guys before I'm trying to think of growing, expanding my Hoya collection. Um, I'm going to do an update soon on some of my birthday plants. Uh, I was going to do it in this video, but I realized that would be a long video. It would be about a two hour video. So I'm going to do that by itself. I may need to break it up into into a couple of segments, uh, so it won't be too overwhelming. But this first one is a is a philodendron. That's called. Get this thing. Uh, there we go. All right. This first one is a seedling. It's called the Royal Queen philodendron, similar to the Dark Lord, Lord, Dark Lord, or the Maj Majesty some of the other ones that are in that dark leaf family 
definitely is very nice when it grows up. I believe I got two of these. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did. So that's that one, or maybe I didn't. <laughs> no, I did not, I just got one. So, cause I got another one that was a really cool philodendron. So let's, let's do the, let's stay on philodendrons for right now. This one is one I actually saw on Instagram, the mature version of it on Instagram. I, I, I'll pop up another video, I mean not video, but uh, photo up top so you can see what it looks like when it's mature. But this is the philodendron marmalade. And it is kind of small, but that's okay. We're gonna make it work. Uh, you know, these things take forever. Sometimes they do a great job of packing it up, but sometimes it takes a minute to get it out. So this is the philodendron marmalade, very much a baby. I'm just going to be interested to see how fast it grows in the first season uh, at this size. But uh, yeah, it's a beautiful plant. It's like an orange. I mean, I, I mean I, orange is one of my favorite colors. So anything that has that, that has highlights in it like that, I'm for it. Uh, so this is the orange marmalade. And the next one we have is a Hoya. Trying to be delicate because I don't know where the uh, where the plants start. Well, I know it's probably at the bottom, but because of the seedling, but I just don't want to damage, do any unnecessary damage to it. So this one, the Hoya is called the Hoya Rosita. Let's see how I yeah, Hoya Rosita. I'll again put a more mature form of it up top. It looks Pretty nice looking. It definitely looks nice. I'm gonna, um, like I said, I'm gonna put, pot all these up shortly, and uh, then and then watch them grow. Put them in a, probably put them in a humidity tank for a little bit. But yeah, so this is the Hoya Rosita. Give you guys a better look, and we'll have a picture up top. And the last one is the Hoya Wyetii. Yeah, Wyetii tricolor. Real cool, it's definitely wilted from being in, in transit. This time, we had a little bit of a heat spell, so it kind of wilted a little bit, but it looks good. Looks good, so we're gonna hydrate it. Well, we're not gonna, I mean, we're gonna we're basically plant it up, give it a nice, a, a nice amount of water, and kind of take it from there. But yeah, this is the Wyetii tricolor. And again, I'll have another, another piece there. Hopefully this will survive, because it's definitely, Definitely, definitely dry right now. So it did not do well when uh when I went in shipping. So go go on to, on to the next one, uh, which is going to be my uh, unboxing of imports from from Tropicals Plants. All right, fam. As I mentioned before, there are several ways to be able to grow your collection without breaking the bank. One of them uh, is, is shopping online. Typically online, you'll find you'll get, you can get access to a, a broader array of plants, especially those that are considered rare or uncommon. And it's usually at a cheaper price because of the fact that you don't, you don't have to pay for a brick and mortar. That being said, another even more cost effective way to get plants uh, that you may not be able to get uh, at your local uh, nursery uh, plant store or big box store is going through online auctions. Online auctions will give you the opportunity to um, to, to find plants that are, um, that one, that are, that are not usually available in your area, potentially. Uh, once you, what you see is what you get. So the plant that you're bidding on is one that you're actually gonna get. And I've, you know, you could either do it domestically through uh, ones that are based in either, well, for us, United States, or even in your own country or you can uh, do an import, which is what I've done. Uh, so today we're doing an import from uh, Tropicals Plants, or Equiflora, Flora, what have you, but Tropicals Plants. Uh, I, I've been using, I've, I've, I've ordered from them before, usually through their, uh, their e-commerce store, their website, and have been, have been satisfied with what I've gotten up to this point from them on that. And then recently, uh, 
Blanche from Black Luxuriance. If you got a chance, check out her channel. She's she's really cool. She actually had a, a, an unboxing of an auction that she did with uh, with Tropicals Plants, and I was like, what? I didn't realize they had one, but they obviously they do. So you know, I started following their their tropical their 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 auction IG account where they sell stuff. And next auction, I started looking at it. And of course, I bought a couple of things, bought a couple more things. And I went buck wild. So, you know, I got a lot of plants. Uh, and I blame Blanche for that because I she shouldn't have, she shouldn't have had that on her channel. And I, that's my, my story. And I'm going to stick to it. So let me go ahead and show you what I got. Let me get this box. It's huge. You see this? This is ridiculous. How am I going to do this? Yeah, we're gonna do it this way. Let's let's take off all personally identifiable information. Uh, I don't think you guys can see it, but we'll do that. <laughs> this is a huge box, man. I I, I did when I, I realized that when I um when I was uh <laughs> I realized after I went to town, I was like, man, I got too much, but. Yeah, you know, as plant lovers, it's not too much, it's too much. We'll just either whatever we can't use or don't use, we'll either share with friends or uh, share with friends or, or uh, sell it or, or what have you. Just keep it and, and, and give something else away. Okay, so this one is first uh, straight out the gate. It is definitely well, definitely secure. I know which ones I got. Hopefully they do have a, uh, I think they do, they, they have an invoice in here because some of the names I cannot, I may not be able to pronounce just off the top of my head. So, Ooh, all right. All right, guys. So here is, let me open this box up. Okay. I think I, I knocked my phone off and it started, uh, and disconnected from my from a video stream, so I had to start re-recording re again. So, okay. So while I'm opening this up, let me tell you how their their auction works, which is different from how Cajunera does theirs. It's pretty much the same thing. Only thing that you 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 don't have to put your customer number in, like you have to do with uh, when you're when you're bidding on Cajunera's piece. And cool thing that they have is that they have these flash sales and Flash sales and um, um, flash sales and giveaways. So every like the, the 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 auction will last for about three or four hours, and every like forty five minutes to an hour they'll do a flash sale where they'll s sell a series of plants that that for a series and it could be different varieties, but usually around the same size or considered the same size. So what they will do is. Um, you know, it may go for 25, it may go for 35, it may go for 40, but they'll sell those for a minute. And then what they'll also do is that if you if you purchased, if you purchase something, they'll do periodic giveaways. So if you purchase something during the, during the course of that live, during the course of that live auction, you qualify to be a part of that giveaway. So you get, you, you're in the giveaway, next thing you know, boom, uh, you, you either, you, if you, they call your name, you get a free plant. So, wildly enough, in my first two auctions, I, I, I wound up getting I wound up getting a free plant, which is awesome. But at the same time, it's kind of funny because uh, the first time I did it, actually Blanche said, "Hey, I think you want something." I'm like, "What are you talking about?" But it's kind of funny because during the first auction, I I I uh, had to log off because I had to do something, <laughs> but. Uh, I logged off and then I got a text from, I mean, a, a, a message from Blanche saying, hey, I think you just won something in the auction. I'm like, what? And I never win anything. So I was like, I was like, yay. So I won, I won a plant and then uh, I participated in another auction, you know, bought a couple of things and I wound up winning something again. So I was like, it's awesome. So I did that and yeah, it was, it was cool. Hold on a second. So I won something and I was like, yay, awesome. And I bought like 15 plants and then I won through the giveaway two additional plants. So in total, we're gonna to be unboxing 
17, how can I count that? Uh, 17 plants today. We begin to open this up. This first, first one is an Anthurium VCI narrow, super narrow. Is it super narrow? A narrow. Yes, yeah, super narrow. So the super narrow, if for the, those of you who don't know, it doesn't the the narrowness of it does not does not a uh, it's not about how 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 slim the leaf is. It's actually more so about the um, how tight how closely how close the ribbing of the plant is to each other. So so there's regular VTI, and then there's this VTI narrow. And then there's this, which is supposed to be super narrow, which is the narrow, one of the more narrow, the narrowest of them all. Yeah, excuse me if I'm rambling a little bit too much. I am excited and I'm nervous because I was uh, watching, well, I watched the tail end of Breezy Plants unboxing <laughs> and uh, she had some challenges with her. So I'm wondering how this one went because this one is in the mail a little like a day longer than it was supposed to be. I was supposed to get it yesterday. I wound up getting it today, which is Friday the 31st. All right. Very nice. <laughs> Very big. You guys can see this. Um, yeah, if you guys can see this, this is extremely, this is definitely a, uh, a super, a super narrow. If you like the uh, look at the ribbing, and that's what I was talking about when I talked about the fact that them being very close together, whereas in a more traditional VCI, the, the ribs would be a lot fatter and they may be a little bit further apart from each other. So, OK, so this is the VCI narrow, super narrow. What is this one? So we have another luxuriance here. This one was a little bit bigger. I want to say that they called this one this philodendron super dark or something like that. But I'm not, yeah, I mean, sorry, philodendron. We have a philodendron. I'm not, we have an anthurium luxuriance, and this is, they called it the anthurium luxuriance super dark, which of course is a a marketing name. You know, most you know, a luxuriance is luxuriance. Sometimes they're darker, sometimes they're, they're lighter. Just like with any other species of anything. So, but yeah, this one was a beauty, man. I mean, I, I've gotten, I have a bunch of <laughs> anthurium, I mean, luxuriance, especially the anthurium luxuriance. I have not had any luck with the philodendron luxuriance. So I, I, I've just decided to stay away from them until, until, until I feel like trying to mess with that again. But right now, I, every time I bought a philodendron luxuriance, it's pretty much, has gone up yonder within a week or two after getting, but the Ethereum luxuriance I've had a lot of success with. Generally speaking, I've only lost one out of all the ones I got. And uh, right now, with these two added to it, this is going to be five <laughs> Ethereum luxuriance. So, yeah, I kind of like them. <laughs> so, this is called the Ethereum luxuriance. I want to say, no, it was called Velvet. Uh, velvet, which I'm not, I guess it's darkest velvet uh, green or whatever. But yeah, it's uh, it's beautiful. It's nice. It's good. Really nice variation. So, no problems with this one. Thank God. Okay. All right. I'm getting tired, man. My back hurt. <laughs> okay. So this one is the Ethereum Serenoi Black F. So I guess it's a uh, Serenoi adjacent. This is another one. Um, I want to get into two of these. So this is the first of the two. Um, it's funny how much smaller they look in person. Man. But yeah, as you guys know, uh, probably like my January haul, I got, in, I got a couple of serenoids. I got three serenoids. Only one of them is survived, at least at this point. And uh, so I decided to go ahead and and try another one through tropical plants because for me, I can only talk about my experience. I've had an easier time acclimating from tropical plants than I have Equigenera. You know, I mean, not to say, I mean, there's, there's, 
I, uh, I've been successful with, uh, with most of my equidinner near uh, uh, imports, but it's been a, it's usually a harder struggle. I'm like, I don't have time for that. <laughs> so usually with uh, the ones from from uh, Tropicals plants have been, they either little to no uh, acclimation in terms of their p acclimation period. We'll see how these do now that we're going from the going, because those were late summer going into winter, fall and winter, and these are now spring going into f summer. So we'll see how these do. So this is the, the Anthurium serenoi af black. So it's supposed to be, have a darker foliage. It has definitely uh, got a little fading, but we'll get her back to life. All right, so. All right. Here is another, oh, another one of my favorites. This is another one of my favorites. As you said, I've been, you guys know I've been on this Anthurium kick for a minute. Okay, I'm glad, okay. Thought I messed up, I messed up, thought I messed with them. I thought I messed, thought I was cut, I cut, I thought I cut the roots. That's what I thought that happened. Okay, so this one is the Anthurium Metallic. One of my favorite uh, Anthuriums. I, I mean, I pretty much like all the Anthuriums, but this one's definitely closer to the top of my heart. So I've started to see. I got I got one, as you know from the last haul. I got one. I got a small one from Equigenera from Equigenera uh, Hall, and to to that point, that one to my earlier point in terms of sometimes it's, I find that the Equigenera ones are a little harder to acclimate. Uh, in my experience, is this uh, the ones I get from Tropicals plants are a little easier to acclimate. Um, so, uh, that, you know, but the, so the, so the one I got from Equigenera, it's a stump right now <laughs> that, that, that the small one, it was, a, it be, it basically within four to five days, it pretty much crisped up. I had any humidity, what have you, what have you crisped up and then just said, I'm done. I'm good. And right now it's a stump. So hopefully you know, start producing new leaves. If not, you know, that, that's miserable. That's why I got this one. Uh, so this one is the Anthurium Metallica. Check that out, guys. Look at this. So nice. Yeah. Yeah, I'm loving that one. All right. So let's move on. Move on to the next one. Because we got a lot to go. Let me uh, have a few more to go. Huh. Okay, this one is. Okay, so this one, I think it may be one of the. I don't think it. It may be one of the gift ones. If it's not this one, then it's the other one. Let's see. Do they have the gift one noted? So that's that one. Okay. All right. I'll find it. <laughs> Let me stop looking. Okay. So I, I one of my gifts was uh, the Anthurium Bessier. Not well. Yeah, Anthurium Bessier F, which I think that they call it a CF. So it's it's wild that they have it listed as an F on here in the package. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um. This is another one I, I, I fell in love with last year. I think I first saw it on, I want to say Arrow, Dave from Arrow District. I saw it on his channel. It may have been his, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was on his channel, but yeah, so I, oh, we got a casualty. <laughs> so yeah, so this one is, but this one is a, this one's a nice one. We got one I already have, I think I have, I have, two uh possibly three already but i wound up getting a couple of these although there's uh there's uh <laughs> actually i got got some now and i got at least one more coming in in the next batch so this is going to be interesting so yeah this is the anthurium bessier af and what's cool about their containers is that they 
A lot of them, they basically actually put it, they put, put this, they put them in sphagnum moss, but they put them in a container. So you could technically acclimate it this way, but I'm going to, I, I'm definitely going to put it in my own mix because that's just how I do. Uh, but yeah, so this is the Anthurium Messier Aff. Nice little, but I, it's either, either this one or the other one is the, I think this was the one I got. And then I got, then I got, I got another one as a, as a, uh, as a prize. So let me put this over here. Okay. All right. So this is another one, uh, the other serenoid. Again, it's a serenoid AF. It's called the serenoid black AF or what have you. See that this one was a little bit bigger. At least, at least the packaging makes it look bigger. I'm pretty sure it was bigger too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was bigger. Um, that's because what they have in here. And didn't tell, I didn't say this before, but the, one of the reasons why I got the got another uh, uh, VCI super narrow is because the first one I got it was actually one of my casualties. I think I've lost two from Tropicals Plants since I've gotten it. Sorry, my if hopefully hopefully you caught my uh, opening it up. Uh, fortunately, my my phone my my phone keeps on. Uh, drop and change swap swapping out from uh, swapping out from 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 my camera so I don't know what's going on with that this one is the this is nice this is the one that I got I, I think this one was the first one I got from them but this is the anthurium serenoid black af so it's like a darker version of the serenoid as you guys know I, I got a couple of, I had gotten some serenoids uh, through my Christmas haul uh, my January haul, they they really didn't make it. So I decided to get some more because I really do like the way that they look. I believe, from my understanding, they're supposed to be related to the uh, Warwick Rihanna and uh, maybe a little bit more, a uh, little bit more resilient for the most part. But yeah, so this is the Anthurium. I was going to say Warwick Rihanna, Serenoid Black, or Serenoid Aff Black. Okay, next one on the list. Trying to get these things, make sure that they, they're secure. Okay, so let's go with the small one. Uh, small one. This is another. I was going, <laughs> I was on the crystalline. I got a lot of crystalline, by the way. I mean, I already have. Before I, before this haul, I've had like I got like three of them, so I don't even know why I decided I needed to get some more. I, w I guess I wanted the silver because I thought the silver was cool, and then I wound up getting a second silver for GP, I guess. But it's a it's a it's a beautiful plant. I mean, as you saw from probably the first one, I got all this <laughs> all this filling around me. It's, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, literally and figuratively. So this is the um, Anthurium Crystallinum Silver Special. Uh, it has a, uh, unlike the normal, my traditional uh, uh, crystallinums, this one has a darker, a darker uh, vibe going on with it. And of course, in contrasting with the silver or the silverish veins, it looks awesome. I'm going to probably take some pictures and put, post them on Instagram. Got a lot of, <laughs> I got a lot of catching up to do there too. But yeah, so this is the Philodendron, Philod Anthurium, Crystallinum, Silver. I mean, yeah, Crystallinum Silver. Look at that. It has a nice velvety look, feel to the uh, leaves. Beautiful, <laughs> that's beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna put this one over here. So this one is another one I got before. This is another variation of, of one I already have. Another plant that I started ever since Jan my January, uh, ever since I got the one in January, I have been 
fiending over the philodendron patriciae, the philodendron patriciae. I mean, it's one of my, it's one of the ones, one of the strap relief ones. That I'm like, it's great. I mean, generally speaking, they they they've been pretty resilient. At least the first one I got, the second one I got is is uh, still acclimating. So she's kind of doing her thing, but she's still she's fairly resilient. Uh, I found this one and it was it was bigger. I think it may have been for like fifty dollars or something like that. But the size made me be like, yes, let me grab this bad boy. All right, so here we go. Let's see if we can. I want to be very careful with this bad, this, this, this puppy. I want to make sure that I don't, I don't, uh, I don't mess it up. As I said, I always get a little concerned with uh, philodendrons because philodendrons for me don't, I mean, they, they can be, they, shipping for me has always been hard. Let me know which ones, which uh, plants work, uh, ship well for you when you're shipping them versus the ones that don't. So this is called the Philodendron Dark Narrow. Can you guys see that? Yeah. The Philodendron Dark Narrow. Really nice. So I'll probably put some B-roll up at the end because this is a lot of plants <laughs> for you guys to just see so you guys can get a better look at them once they're all potted up. Um, what I will be doing is, is letting them acclimate in some water for a couple of days. And then we'll uh oh let me do <laughs> I'll do that later. And then we'll uh then I'll pot them up. But yeah, so this is the philodendron trichier. All right. All right. This next one is what is this? Ah, uh, okay, that's why I was confused. Okay, so this one, because I guess they call it. This one is supposed to be, they call it a past designer, but I was like, that's not, a that's not what I got. So this one is the Philodendron uh, SP, well, Columbia Platinum. But technically since the, na the name has changed to El, El Guapo, I guess you could call it the Philodendron El Guapo Plat Platinum. So what attracted me to this one is that the new leaves had more of a, a white tone to them. Uh, Probably so so forth, and hence the platinum. It just looks beautiful. I was like, you know, and I like the uh, guapo. Uh, out of all, I like the pillow leaves. Out of uh, all my crawlers, that's definitely one of the ones I like a lot. That and the uh, let's see other one I like. Uh it's it's a, it's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't think of what it is. Um. Dean McDowell. Yes. That's the other one I like. So this one is the El Guapo. And it looks like it's taken. <laughs> but it's the, this one. Yeah, this was this was gone. But it has a look at the sheen of the other two. Kind of has a light. You know, it's supposed to basically stay this color. So it has that light platinum look or what have you. But the good thing about these is that they're pretty resilient. At least the ones I got last year, uh, they didn't. It, I didn't really have a whole lot of problems in terms of them acclimating. Uh, I think the, uh, from the followers, the ones I had the biggest issues acclimating was uh, my Gloriosa and the Mames. Those either they either made it or they didn't, <laughs> and it just is what it is. So this is the. Philodendron El Guapo uh, Platinum. Right. Philodendron El Guapo Platinum. Oh, all right. Man, all right. We are down to the last three. Okay. So this one, I don't even know what this is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Where's the tag? Okay, so yeah, this one, <laughs> I think I was talking to one of you guys in the uh, chats for my last video. It's one of the ones I consider, I consider to be, a, I'm in a toxic <laughs> relationship with. I love her, but she don't love me back. And she's like, I, I, can't, I can't feel 
slighted because she's like that with almost everybody. A lot of people, so can't feel but too bad for her, bad about it. But you know her. She is the queen, the Anthurium War Rock Rihanna queen. And this one is the or or Anthurium War Rock Rihanna Super Narrow Black. <laughs> That's a lot of words, <laughs> a lot of descriptors. So we're going to see. I like the way she looked on, uh, you know, during the auction. She looked, uh, she looked dark. She had dark leaves, narrow, all, all, all those things. So we'll see. I, I was I was watching something and they were basically saying how Oracle Island was really just really from narrow, narrow to round to whatever, whatever. You really don't know what they're going to really look like until they become mature. So although they may be narrow, or which are around or whatever now, they can, that, that look can change over time. So we'll see. So now I'm getting it. It seems like the ones, the smaller ones, they basically put put cups, uh, put them in a little nursery pots with the sphagnum moss. And then the big ones, they just put in, uh, put the roots in bags with sphagnum moss around it. So this is my, and I got another queen. So you saw for my last birthday haul, I got, I had gotten one, she was really big. So this one is smaller, but stunning. Man, she's nice. She's nice now. Here's the thing. I got um, I got I, I got another one from them, uh, a narrow, or what have you, what have you. But that she didn't make it. And again, it was one of those put her in humidity and all these other beautiful things, and she still didn't make it. So it's gonna be interesting to see if this one does. She has two leaves. Look out! I mean, she looks perfect. I am going to take a picture of her immediately, man, because I know that you know what it's going to look like in about 72 hours. So but she's perfect right now, man. OK, so, yeah, this is my Ethereum Warwick Rihanna, super narrow, dark or black or something like that. All right. Put her over here. Okay, so this is one of the ones. This is one of the ones I got as, as a freebie. Got, so I've gotten two. Okay, so this is the last. Okay, so so these are the freebies. Uh, so this one, the one I already told you about is the best AA app. Uh, so that's coming up next. And this one, I was just kind of, I, this is the one that when, um, when Blanche told me, oh yeah, you won something. And I was like, what I win? She was like, I think it's a, a luxurious. And I was like, oh really? And I was, it was, uh, it's this, but I, I love it, man. I was like, okay. I, I was like, it's different. It is the, uh, Ethereum Regal Xanthinum. Zan which I don't know what that is, guys. If you know what is that, uh, uh, what's the difference between a regular regal and a regal xanthema, leave it in the comments below. Because I was trying to look it up, and I was like, okay, I can't. I think maybe it's it, maybe it's a region of the country. Oh man, oh man, she looks so much better in person. But it looks like they only have. It looks like the other leaf died. That's okay. She's a big girl. It looks nice. She can stand on her own. Looks nice. Wow. So you saw the this one is a lighter. I guess maybe it's maybe it's called a xanthinum because it's lighter. But this is nice, man. I'm like, oh wow. Okay. All right. So we got that one. And so the last one for today is the and Ethereum Bessier, Bessier AF, but it's the Ethereum Bessier AF pink. And I think it's because when the leaves initially emerge, it's it has a pink, it has a pink tone to it, or pink or reddish tone to it. So this is what I got. I was like, I, uh, when, when I got a uh, one in the lottery, and I was like, wow, you know, you can't complain, and the, as well as the regal. So you can't complain about free. Uh, here we go. All right. She's coming. 
Ah, this one is big, much bigger than the other one I got when I paid for it. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh oh wow. Hopefully, let the may the gods let it be uh as big as it needs to be. I mean, it, it, it not be damaged. Okay, it does have a little leaf damage, but that's okay. Looks like it's because it's a new leaf. Oh, wow. Wow, guys. <laughs> this one is huge. Now, it has a hole right here. We just don't call that ventilation for right now. That's a little ventilation and leaf ventilation. Uh, this one is, I was, this is probably the newest one because it's, one, it's limp, and then two, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it, well, it's bigger. And then this is the older one. But this is the Ethereum Bessier Aft Pink. All right, guys. So that's my haul for the day. Um, thanks for thanks for coming on along with me. Remember, if you haven't already, uh, please uh, subscribe. I want to continue to grow this community. If you like this video, please press the like button and share. If it, share if you if you really like it, share it. Um, yeah, or even if you don't like it all, please still share. And uh, yeah, well, so we'll see you the next time, guys. Happy planting.